So in this video, we are going to introduce ourselves to the concept of pricing. Now we all have a good idea about what a price is. Simply speaking, price is something of value that we give up to get something else of value that we want, right? For example, if I'm thirsty and I want this Fanta, to get this Fanta, I need to give up something of value. So what is the price for this? If you go to Walmart, you will see that this is being sold for about $1.89. So we can say that the price of this product is $1.89 and that's what I give up to get this product that I value. But it is really $1.89. Now, there are some other considerations that we will discuss only in this video briefly, but we'll ignore this for later discussions and for other videos as well. But do keep these additional cost considerations in mind. What about if I had to drive 10 miles to get to Walmart to buy this bottle? With a 20 miles per gallon mileage and gas at about $3 a gallon, the actual price for this bottle will be three plus one dollar eighty nine is four dollars and eighty nine cents now this bottle seems pretty expensive for four dollars eighty nine doesn't it so what about the opportunity cost of time driving that 20 miles to walmart staying in line for five to ten minutes i'll end up spending about half an hour how much is that half an hour worth for me now let's forget about all those opportunity costs and gas costs and whatnot and let's briefly for now just talk about the price of this product as a dollar and 89 cents right so let's just only focus on that so if i'm very full and i just finished a bottle of fanta or any other drink and you offered me this bottle for free i might say no thanks because i'm not going to drink it right but at the same time, if I just walked out of a desert after being lost for a day and you offered me this Fanta for 10 bucks and presuming that I had 10 bucks, I would say hell yes. Because at that point, the value of quenching my thirst is more than the value of 10 bucks in my pocket. So the question is this, what is the maximum that you can charge for this bottle of Fanta? In other words, what is the maximum price possible for this specific bottle? The answer, of course, is simple, right? It is whatever the consumer is willing to pay. If a consumer is willing to pay thousands of dollars for a shiny rock that you put, it on, put on a ring, then the price for that shiny stone is thousands of dollars. If Jeff Bezos walked out of the desert after three days without water, and I fortunately was standing there with a bottle of Fanta, perhaps I could sell this to him for a lot of money because he would value this product at a lot of money. So the maximum price of any product depends upon the customer's valuation of the product. Beyond this price, the customer will not be willing to pay more. So this is kind of like the price ceiling. And since this is kind of the pricing set by the customer. You can think that this is a customer oriented pricing strategy. You can also call this value based pricing or demand based pricing strategy because the pricing is based upon how much the customer is willing to pay, which depends upon how much they value this product. Now, what would be the minimum price you would be willing to pay for this? Now, it seems like a stupid question because after all, I would be willing to pay zero dollars for it. The minimum is I'll pay zero dollars for it. Give it to me for free, right? But in a free marketplace, it doesn't work like that. In a free marketplace for an exchange to happen, me as a buyer have some demands, but the seller will also have some other demands. Now, as a buyer, I would want it for free, but the seller won't sell it to me for free. Now, let's think about what is the minimum price that the seller will sell this for. Now, if the highest possible price is the consumer's perception of value, what is the lowest possible price for this Fanta? If we think about it, the lowest price that Coke would be willing to sell this bottle for is the price at which they break even. That is, they do not incur any losses. 
Now, selling the product below the break-even price would result in a loss, so no company would sell below the break-even price. Above the break-even price, they will make profit, and that's where companies would want to sell the product for. So the lowest price that a company would accept is the cost to produce this product. At that price, they are not making any money, but they are also not losing any money. So let's say if it costs Coca-Cola, the company, $1 total to manufacture and get this product in front of you. That includes the material cost, the actual product cost, the advertising, marketing, factory cost, everything. Now they will not sell it for less than a dollar because then they would be losing money. Now when we talk about the different types of cost, of course, we'll talk about fixed cost and variable cost, which is part of the total cost in some other videos because that goes into determining a different types of pricing strategy. But just thinking about this product for this specific video, the lowest price the company is willing to sell this for is going to be the cost of production. So, the lowest price is the cost of production and the highest price is based upon the consumer's perception of value. So at one extreme is the cost of production and at the other extreme is the value that the consumers puts on this product. All the pricing strategies that we will discuss in other videos and in this video as well as anywhere else you hear it will be somewhere in between this cost and value based pricing. There are certain instances where you might price the product lower than the cost that it takes to produce, but we'll talk about that in other videos. So to learn about these pricing strategies and more about marketing, please watch my other videos about pricing. Thank you so much.